Hallelujah. 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 Use me on another level of capacity, Lord, yes. for your Hallelujah. people, for your children, to hear the word that will penetrate them, Lord. That will make them to pass and act on changing, Lord. Growth taking place. Knowing that it's only their race, Lord, Father. It's only their race, Lord. And you are right there with you, Lord. It has always been you. It has always been you. In the midst of it has always been you. No one can take credit. No one can take credit. So, Lord, as I bring the word this morning, Lord, I just say, Holy Spirit, flood this place. And flood me and use me as an open vessel. In the name of Jesus, amen. Amen. When y'all sit down, look at each other and say, it will cost you. It will cost you. It will cost you. It's going to cost you. It will cost you. It will cost you everything. Oh, children, y'all. <coughs> <laughs> I was going to be ready to lie in. It will cost you. Huh. Cost. Y'all, bear with me. Because I'm telling you. The, the amount or equivalent, paid, or charged for something, lost, or penalty, and occur, especially in gaining something, require effort and suffering. <coughs> How many of us could say we suffered? Mm. Mother Lord, mm. we've been being attacked. Amen. You are here. <laughs> Let's start with Matthew 8, 18 through 22. And you can go in the NIV. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> Matthew 8, 18 through 22. It will cost you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When Jesus saw the crowd around him, he gave orders to cross to the other side of the lake. Go to the next. Then a teacher of the law came to him and said, Teacher, I will follow you wherever you go. Go to the next. Jesus replied, Foxes have holes and birds of the air have nests, but the Son of Man has no place to lay his head. Go to the next. Another disciple said to him, Lord, first let me go and bury my father. Go to the next. But Jesus told him, follow me and let the dead bury the dead. Meaning if you are already dead in your spirit, let the other person that's dead bury the dead. Go back. 821. Another disciple said to him, Lord, first let me go bury my father. Now go back. Hallelujah. And go back to the other one. To 20, no, uh, I'm sorry, 21. Another disciple, as you see it said another disciple. He following him, right? Amen. One said, Lord, go to the one before that, the 20, and go to 18, 19. I'm, I'm sorry. Hallelujah. Then a teacher of the law came to him and said, Teacher, I will follow you wherever you go. Now go to the, I think, 22. And go to 21, I'm sorry. Another disciple said, Lord, first let me go and bury my father. Like then I'll follow you. I'm not following you first. 
I'm making an excuse to say, well, let me go and do this first, and then I'll follow you. Well, let me go drink one more time and smoke a little weed, then I'll go follow you. Oh, well, let me go and take care of my No, you can't put nobody before the Lord. You got to put the Lord before the Lord. You have to. You have to. If you're a disciple and you saying that, oh, I'm following you, something, prove it. Hallelujah. Prove it. Prove it that you down for me. Lay everything down for me. Let me tell you something. It's going to cost you your flesh. It's going to cost you your flesh. Meaning everything that you once desired, your world desire, everything that you have ever desired, that means that you're going to have to lay it all down. And pick up your cross. Can you pick it up? Can you pick it up? Can you pick that cross up and follow him? He said follow him. Amen. Amen. Let's go to Luke 14, 27 through 30 in the NIV. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah. It will cost you. It will cost you everything. Everything. And I'm crying because it's personal. Amen. It is personal Hallelujah. to me. Hallelujah. Luke 14. 27 through 30. Oh, she had my sword in here. I'm going to sign my shield over the CA. Luke 14, 27, 30. Follow me cannot be my disciple. Go to the next. Suppose one of you wants to build a tower. Will he not first sit down and estimate the cost to see if he has <coughs> enough money to complete it? Go to the next. For if he lays the foundation and it is not able to finish it, everyone who sees it will ridicule him. Go to the next. Says, saying, this fellow began to build and was not able to finish. You can't say you're walking with God and people watching your walk and you're not able to finish. Oh, you got to walk it. Because if you tell the people, oh yeah, I'm walking with God, I'm this, this, and that, and you causing that other person to stumble, you might as well wrap something around your neck and fall to the side. You might as well wrap something else because you causing this other person to stumble. If they be with you for a week, what would you be doing? Are you still going to leave and lead them right or is you going to lead them astray? What are you doing in the midst of it? Go back. I'm going to read it one more time. And anyone who does not carry his cross and follow me cannot be my disciple. Next, suppose one of you wants to build a tower. Will he not? First, sit down. Let me sit down and let me count the cost yeah. of what I'm going to lose. Mm -hmm. You're not going to lose when you come to Christ. Yes, You're going to gain. Yes, Amen. 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 You're going to count the cost. You're going to estimate the cost to see if he has enough money to complete it. Mm -hmm. hmm. For if he lays the foundation and is not able to finish, everyone who sees it will ridicule him, they will talk about you. They will talk about you. If you say that you about this life, and it's a lifestyle, it ain't just saying, oh, I'm with Christ, oh, I'm this, this, and that. It's a lifestyle. It's a 24-7 thing that you have to do daily. Amen. This ain't Hallelujah. something that you put off. This is not part-time. This is completely full-time. This is every day. Yes. So Amen. that you can see eternity. Amen. 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 Or unless you want to see eternity somewhere else. Uh -huh. You sure know it's hot. I don't wear a bathing suit. <laughs> Two pieces of that. I'm saying. <laughs> oh my God. Matthew 26, 33 through 35. Hallelujah. Lord, we love you. Lord. Lord, we love you. <coughs> Hallelujah. Hmm. Matthew 26. 
Jesus answered, this very night, this very night, before the rooster crows, you will disown me three times. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but Peter declared, even if I have to die with you, and I will never disown you. And all the other disciples said the same. Mm -hmm. You said all that. And if you read John 18, Peter denied him three times. Amen. Amen. Peter denied him. He wouldn't bite that. Because if somebody say, oh, you why you can't be publicly announcing the Lord because you think what your friends or what your family are going to say? Why you can't just be that person to stand up in that generation Hallelujah. and say, yes, Lord, I'm going to answer. Yes, I'm going to let these chains fall off of me. Yes, I will break all generational yes. curses. Because it's been. It's been. But Hallelujah. it stops with you. Amen. And it's stopped with Amen. you. And if you have kids, yes. it's going to yes. stop with them. Hallelujah. It ain't even going to touch them because you are yes. yes. You are yes. even killed because it's it's us, or is you gonna be on the other side? Which is whatever you want to do is your choice. God is not gonna put a gun in your head and say, "Be with me." Yeah. He gonna put his hands like this, just saying that's my imagination. You pick and choose. That's I'm right. not saying it, but that's everything right. you need to do, you can follow this. Amen. Or you can follow the world because everything else in here is greater, man. I'm telling you. Hallelujah. Let's go to Luke nine sixty two. Luke 9, 62. Hallelujah. 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 Hmm. I know that y'all will be facing distractions. I know that y'all will be facing things that it's like God is just too overwhelming. I'm just going to drop. No. Keep your cross going. Keep running that race. Even if you got to do it. Even if you have to have that friend that's going to run and walk with you. You got to help you pack your cross. Pick up your cross. It is so much better. You gain over here. You gain. You do not yes. lose. That's why so many people yeah. don't want to live this, take this life and be like, oh, God, I'm going to just stay right here because I'm good right here. No. No. God got you. When he said it's going to be a yes. it's going to be an atmosphere. You know that the enemy is right there waiting on you to say yes or no. If you're saying yes to God, oh, he already, he, he ready to take you up because he know you're serious. But he only know you're serious is if your day-to-day -day basis. And if you repent and you say, I'm, not, I'm done with this, I'm done with beer, I'm done with liquor, I'm done with smoking, I'm done with smoking cigarettes, all those things. When he know you're serious about that walk, he's going to try to come anything. And try to bring any kind of familiar spirit around you. Yeah. But it's up to you to stand firm up in your word and be like, God, no. I need to keep this temple clean for you. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Jesus replied, no one who puts his hand to the plow, what I just say, hmm. hands to the plow and look back, is fit for service in the kingdom of God. Jesus. If you turn back around, you might as well turn into a pillow salt and just drop. Because if you're done with it, be done. Amen. Don't be like, God, I follow you. And you got your liquor bottle right here. God, I'm following you. I got you. I'm right here with you. But what you got right there? Mm -hmm. Drop it. Mm -hmm. Drop it and walk. And be like, you are my everything. I'm focused on you, Lord. Yes. I'm not focused on this. Hallelujah. I'm done with this. This cannot control me. You control me. So Amen. you tell me that's why he gave us the Holy Spirit. Amen. So he can be activated in our life. Let's start standing up living for the Lord. Let's like stop playing. Yes. Why yes. is that? Why you playing? Yes. But you don't want him to come to your beck and aid. Oh. When it's time, let God come in. Why should he answer you? You ain't answer him when he told you to get up at 2 Help him. I bet you he won't answer your call at 310 when you want him to do something. God, oh, no, no. It's either you in or you out. You cannot, and I have said it before, play hopscotch. 
15. You whichever one you're going to be on, be in that square. And don't try to hop over here. Don't try to straddle, straddle the fence. You pick and choose what fence you want to be on. You pick and choose what kingdom. Do you want kingdom of dark or do you want kingdom of light? Hallelujah. Amen. Deuteronomy 6 5 in the amplifier. Why play with God? Why? He didn't play with you when he gave his son. He did not. Deuteronomy 6 5 in the Apple Bible. Hallelujah. Deuteronomy 6 5. Now, this is what we should do. And you shall love the Lord, your God, with all your mind. Amen. When you, when he, you keep in step with him in your mind, the enemy ain't got no kind of tactics. Because right here, this is where he play it anyway. Oh, he got everything. He got seesaws and everything for you. Because all he's doing is playing. All he's doing is playing in your mind. That's all. But if you keep yourself with the Lord, he say love him with all your mind. Not partial. Not 42%. All of it. And heart. Love me with all your heart. With your entire being, meaning from head to toe, inside and out. And with all your might. Everything, everything, loving with everything, not half, because he loves us with everything. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. I'm going to tell y'all, the enemy loves, and he thrives on lack of communication, meaning, and prayer. Mm -hmm. He loves a lazy Christian mm -hmm. <laughs> that don't pray. Yes. Be like, God, thank you. Mm -hmm. I thank you for this day. Thank you um, for giving me this job, and thank you. Amen. You ain't did nothing. You ain't had no authority. So the enemy finna come and flood you. Because you didn't say nothing. He, he loves confusion. He loves double-mindedness. He loves people that's unstable. And I mean all their ways. He loves it. He loves somebody that's not loyal. Because y'all know God is loyal. Amen. And loyal means being loyal. Faithfulness to commitments. Or obligation. So are you obligated to love the Lord? Yes. We have a choice. Amen. 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 Hmm. Amen. All right. Let's go to James 1 8 in the Amplified. James 1 8 in the Amplified. Being as he is, a man of two minds, hesitating, divisions, I think that's what it is, <laughs> error salute, and he is unstable and unreliable and uncertain about everything he thinks, feels, and decides. Do y'all see that? Two minds. Two minds and know what we got. One. So you cannot be cut in the head. You cannot be divided. You cannot be indecisive. You have to pick and choose because can't nobody rely on you. Your family can't even rely on you. Your family, your spouse, your friends, nobody can rely on you if you fickle. You got to be loyal. You got to be faithful in everything that you do. You got to be committed in everything you do. Amen. Amen. Psalms 119, 113 in the Amplified. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Are y'all getting fed so far? Amen. Spiritually. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Psalms 119, 113 in the Amplified. Hallelujah. I hate the thoughts oh, of, <laughs> of undecided in religion, 
Double-minded people, but your law do I love. I hate the thoughts of undecided in religion. You know it ain't religion over here because you know what God is freedom. Amen. It's no bondage. It's just no stipulations. All he's saying is to live for him. That's what he's saying. Amen. Live for him and I will show you. I will show you unhidden things that you don't know about, the world don't know about, but he will show you these things. But if you undecided in religion, meaning if you're a religion and you in these cults or you in these uh, denominations, you double-minded. But your law, I do love. Amen? Amen. 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 Mm. Let's go to Galatians 5.24 in the NIV. Galatians 5.24 in the NIV. Mm. And when I speak about loyalty, I think about my family. My husband and my daughter and my son. Like they faithfulness to the Lord. Sometimes I be like, like if somebody get them something, they gonna take tithes and stuff off of that. They gonna, y'all, I say y'all didn't earn that. But they being faithful and loyal to the Lord. And I be like this, I say, God, when people are someone to me, I don't, I don't get no tithes. So it made me feel some type of way. Cause they was faithful and they was loyal because they know what God gonna do for them. So it's just that their mind was already made up. Everything I get, I'm gonna give hand back to the Lord. Whatever I need to, 10%, everything. Just like one time we was with uh, Caleb and this is about his faith. Ooh, I love it. One time we were just sitting out and he was like, Caleb, hey, we take him, but as many of y'all know that we take him once a day to go see a train. And one day, well, yeah, it was like in the morning, I say, well, Caleb, we finna go because we don't see no red light coming on. He told me, no, we got to wait. I say, Caleb, come on. I said, I'm ready to go and it's hot. And y'all know this is the summertime. And I say, it's hot. We finna go and stuff. And his daddy can't stand to be hot. But we all was in there together just suffering for Caleb. <laughs> suffering. You know what I got. <laughs> and I was sitting there. I said, oh, Lord. Caleb was hanging upside down in the back. He said, just four more minutes. I kid y'all not. Within three something point minutes, <laughs> we heard, uh, we said, oh my God. <laughs> I said, he talking about, I told you, like, how you gonna sit up there? His faith is on the million. You know, I'm telling you, God will speak through your kids. He will speak through your kids. He'll get signs, he'll do anything. They'll say one time, you'll be like, uh, like you'll notice them. I'm telling you, keep your ears and eyes open because I'm telling you out of the mouth of babes. Amen. I'm telling you out of the mouth of babes. Amen. Those who belong to Christ. And Jesus has crucified the sinful nature with its passions and desires. When you die, meaning spiritually, I mean, meaning like with your flesh, that means you got to take, throw everything away. You got to die to it all. When I converted over, he had to do a miraculous because I would have been sitting there and be like, go away. I didn't ask for the go away. I would have still been trying to hold. So he knew he had to with me because with drinking and with cursing, like cursing was my way of defending myself and I'm going to tear somebody down. That's what I was doing. I only cursed because I was hurt. I didn't want to hurt nobody, but I'm cursing because it just collided together with the sentences and knowing I ain't have no vocabulary. <laughs> Vocab if you cussing more than what you saying in words, you know you ain't got no vocabulary. You know you ain't saying. <laughs> you know you ain't saying. I was like, y'all, I can't speak. I'm just cussing to defend myself because I don't know another word. <laughs> you know? But being real though, even with my drinking, I used to drink four locos. And you know what loco means. <laughs> you know what it means. So I'm just being real. Like, that's the stuff that I used to drink and you know they came in boats. I didn't get no children. I ain't get none of that. I got the tank. So because of what I was standing with, I'm being so real. This is a transparent house. I'm being real. You know, you can't be like, well, I used to drink, but I don't want to talk. No, talk about it. Talk about it so you can unlock these people. Over in 2012. Yeah. And it's about to be what? 2000 and what? 23? Mm -hmm. yes. Thank you, Thank you, Thank you, Thank you. 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 Thank you.
can't play with me in this area. He know, oh, he tries. Oh, he comes in my sleep and everything, y'all. But that's a whole nother story. He do that. <laughs> he know. How they say it ten toes down, he know I'm rocking with the Lord. So you got to come and do something else. Mm -hmm. I don't play no game yet. My, my uh, great baby, he passed away. My mama did ten toes. Ten toes down. Ten toes. Still down. Still looking at the Lord. Still ten toes down. I'm still going to rock with the Lord. It don't matter what. He going to send everything, all kind of stuff. If he know you that love, my new Christian, and you be like, well, this happened, so I'm going to just stick right here, and I'm going to just be safe. Ain't no faith to safe. Uh -huh. Ain't no faith to safe. Uh -huh. Ain't no faith to safe. Uh -huh. You're going to be safe. And God, you ain't safe, really, because you God's hand ain't even on your life. Uh -huh. If you don't want him now, uh -huh. if you don't want him now, his hand is not on your life. Uh -huh. I'm telling you. Go on with the word and see how they're going to spit you out. You see how God say if you look warm, he's going to spit you out. I'm telling you. Let them, because I'm telling you, the first move you make, they ain't going to say I'm sorry or nothing like that. They're going to spit you out, and I'm telling you, you ain't nothing to them no more. But God, I'm telling you, he will redeem you. Yes, he will redeem you. Yes, he will redeem you. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, you got to die to self. You gotta die to self, I'm telling you, because when you're in the world, you walk spiritually dead. I'm telling you now. But when you say yes and God I'm for you, Woo! and I believe that Jesus Christ died Amen. for yes. me, for my sins, that means it's okay. Yes, I'm spiritually alive. Let's drink. Let's drink this water. Let's eat. Let's eat this living bread. Because I'm going to scoop with butter and everything. I'm telling you, it's not a game. It's not a game. So I'm telling y'all today, pick and choose who you're going to serve. Who you going to serve. If you're going to get a half of a platter, if you're going to get this counterfeit food, God know how he built me. I don't play it. I want the real platter. Amen. 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 Huh. Second Corinthians 5.17. In the amplifier. Ooh. Lord Jesus. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we thank you. For who you are, not what you do. For who you are. Amen. Amen. Teddy, you people are watching your walk. They're watching you. They're watching you closely because they want change. But if they see somebody battling, fickling, and stuff, they're not going to follow Jesus. Don't be that person to help somebody stumble. Be that person to pick them up and build them up. Amen. Yes, we're going to fall short on different things, but we still have to have that person to be like, come on, Sam. Come Hallelujah. on, Deja. Come on, Maria. Let's come go. on, Marilyn. Amen. Come on. We still got that person clapping for us. Be like, yeah, I got this. We finna get in the boxing ring, baby, and we finna go. I'm telling you. Amen. You need somebody that's going to hold you accountable. You cannot rock this life out by yourself. Not Hallelujah. Lord, you can't. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. A woman gave me a bracelet, and this is when I converted over to Christ. You know, I didn't know God would change your appearance. I didn't think none of that. I just think you was going to be how you are. And she gave me this bracelet, not knowing what this meant. You know, because you can read the scriptures, but you really don't understand it. You know, so when she gave this to me, therefore, <laughs> if any person is engrafted, engrafted in Christ, the Messiah. He is a new creation. A new creature altogether. The old previous morals and spiritual condition has passed away. Behold, the fresh and new has come. Amen. So you tell yourself that. You brand new. People going to remind you, oh, you used to do this. Oh, you do. Let me tell you something. I'm fresh. And I'm new to come. Hallelujah. You can't tell me nothing. I'm fresh and I'm new to come. People are going to say, oh, yes, I remember you. I remember you as, but you have to make a choice. Amen? Amen. John 3.30. I just love this. And I'm just giving y'all this, and y'all know we should already know this. John 3.30. NIV. Hmm. 
He must become greater, I must become less. It ain't you come greater and he become less. You might as well just, you got to let God do his thing. He must become greater so I can come become less. Amen? Amen. Amen. I'm going to give y'all a few more scriptures. Then we out here. First Peter 4, 1 through 2 in the Amplified. Hmm. First Peter 4, 1 through 2. So since Christ suffered in the flesh for us, for you, arm yourself with the same thought and purpose, patiently to suffer rather than fail to please Christ. I mean, please God, I'm sorry. For whoever has suffered in the flesh, having the mind of Christ, is done with intentional sin has stopped pleasing himself and the world Hallelujah. and pleases yes. God. Hallelujah. Pick and choose who you going to serve, who you going to please. Who are you going to please, the Lord, or who you going to please, the world? Amen? Amen. Amen. I'm going to tell you about this story when I was at uh, HEB. And I'm going to end on this. Um, so we can pray and stuff. Uh, I guess just came from working out. And you know after you work out, you can't go and try to get no burger. You got to get something that you know is here. So I'm down to I'll go see it. And you know in your mind when you're on that treadmill and stuff, you think about stuff like that. But anyway, I was down the aisle and I was just looking. And I was like, and I just kept looking. And the woman, she said, she was with her husband. I heard she was like, yeah, get this, get that. And I heard her stop and talk. And she looked up. She said, you are so pretty. I said, thank you. Like, you know, I didn't think nothing of it. She said, you are so pretty. Turn up a bit. Um, and I say, I kept on doing I said, thank you so much. She said, you just got to shine to you. I said, thank you, you know. I was like, okay, yeah, you know. Just let me focus on my rights. I didn't know what she was saying. She just said it. But I embraced what she was saying. And all of a sudden, she said, excuse me. She said, you know Jesus, don't you? And I said, she said, I know you know Jesus. So I'm telling you, people going to know who you belong to. It ain't that I know about him. She didn't say, I'm, you know about him. She said, you know him. Hallelujah. Amen. So God let me know. She wanted you to know me. Amen. So whatever I'm telling you, you know that it's me. People can see you. They can see me inside of you. But that woman took a firm. And I gave her my name. And I seen her one last time. She said, Shawana, right? She said, I'll never forget but you saw Jesus in me to make me care. I could not be going in there and she don't know what I was dealing with that day. But for her to say, she say, you're pretty. I said, thank you. You know, just going like, not thinking what's coming after. Not thinking what's coming after. And she said, you got this shine to you. She said, just keep the shine. And all of a sudden she said it. She said, you know Jesus. Do y'all know those words right there are important? Hallelujah. And somebody say that they do know Jesus. She is the woman in Columbus. So I'm telling y'all, people are going to recognize you. They're going to recognize you once and for all. They're going to know your walk. They're going to know your walk. They're even going to know your demeanor. They're going to know who you belong to. Amen. 
Amen. They don't know Amen. if you the father of lies or you with the father of truth.